pals, it going, you sexy beasts? I'm Drathamus, and today we're taking a look at my top 5 Brawlers Guild bosses in World of Warcraft. The Brawlers Guild is a solo player arena where the player will go head to head against bosses of varying difficulties and strategies. I recently picked this up and plowed through it on my live stream recently. I had so much fun with it that I wanted to make this video. So, here you go. My top 5 favorite bosses in the Brawlers Guild picked for their encounter, mechanics, or just overall absurdity. Starting off this list at number 5 is Nibla. This fight is essentially the snake game where you have to prevent the snake from eating its tail. In this case, the snake leaves a disgustingly green slimy smoke behind him. If Nibla stands too long in the green, he'll gain a massive buff and will more than likely cause you to die. Though it took me a couple of tries, this fight was really enjoyable. Having to constantly backpedal and plan your moves all the while keeping Nibla out of his trail was quite difficult to do, while also keeping your damage abilities going out. Painting the entire arena with the slime is both nerve-wracking and fun as hell to pull off. Number 4 is the most imaginative boss of any in the Brawlers Guild, Epicus Maximus. This was an old mob put in a cataclysm during the beta to make, well, everything more epic. It's an undead shredding on a guitar, riding a devil sword, which itself is a stride atop a shark that has freaking rockets attached to its side with the freaking laser beam on top of its head. The oh, amount of fire you need to move out of and the craziness of the boss itself makes Epicus Maximus the most absurd fight and landing it on the fourth slot of this list. Woo! Got him! Got him! Number three is a fan favorite from those who played all the way back in Burning Crusade and met this lovely gnome in Architraz. Yep, the mighty Metal House Mana Storm! At first, this fight looked pretty simple, but once he started summoning power crystals, it was pretty easy to see you need to interrupt them somehow. But the more you did, the larger and larger your character got. It was hilarious to finally slay Millhouse and be larger than the arena itself. Number 2 is the top tier arena fight with the Drain Eye Paladin by the name of Ahuru. This fight has so much going on in all at once that it can quickly overwhelm you within a matter of seconds with what you have to do next. Getting the Guardian of Kings to properly collide with his Divine Shield, all the while revealing them and avoiding the Holy Orbs was a difficult feat. After the first phase though, it's pretty much a breeze. That first phase's difficulty though leaves Ahuru at my number 2 spot for the Brawler's Guild. And my number one favorite fight in all the Brawlers Guild has got to be the first fight for any aspiring rank 8 Brawlers, Hexos. This boss is, simply put, two full minutes of intense mouse aiming of your character all the while doing 100,000 DPS minimum to beat the timer. Hexos is an amazing boss in both its presentation of the geometric patterns he summons to oh the pure God, exhilaration of finally defeating him. During the encounter, my eyes were glued to the patterns and paying attention to nothing else as all my focus was thrown toward not touching the edges of the purple at all lest I instantly fail the encounter. Hexos is not for the weak of heart and will surely test your mettle. This encounter is by far the most fun I've had in World of Warcraft in quite a while and cannot wait to see what other challenges await us in the Warlords of Draenor.
Oh fuck! I thought I was about to die there. Oh man, how did I live that? Motherfucker! Die! Die, you son of a bitch! Yes! Oh! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Holy shit! So there you have it, you sexy beast. My top five favorite bosses in the Brawlers Guild. What are your favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all so very much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a big ass thumbs up. Want to see more videos like these? Then go ahead and subscribe. It's free.